It's actually been a while since we've been here on Quattro Colinas. I went and looked, and if I'm not mistaken, the last video was from September 27th, and I believe those were some stream highlights, so it's actually been even a little bit longer than that, but I thought we'd come out here, and I wanted to mainly go for a Mouflon and Red Deer hunt. I was kind of thinking, like, if I were to come to this place in real life, and if I had the same opportunities as far as the species that are on Quattro Colinas, Red Deer and Mouflon would be my main focus, and maybe, like, Roe Deer and Wild Boar a little bit, but... With Roe Deer being kinda broken, it's pretty much impossible that they can make diamond right now, and Wild Boar being not really super high on my list of things I want to add to the Trophy Lodge, I thought we'd do a little bit of a Mouflon and Red Deer hunt, and we'll see if we can get anything good for the lodge and just kinda run around and see what we can find out here, because, I mean, I said it in the last video that we did on Quattro, we need to hunt this map more, there's actually a lot of cool stuff out here, but I think these two lakes down here are some of the only ones that have Red Deer and not Mouflon. And to kind of maximize our hunting time, I started at 5 a.m., which Mouflon don't start drinking till 6. So we'll do these couple of Red Deer Lakes and then go to all the spots where both kind of tend to go. I actually don't know for the European hare. Like, I know at least jackrabbits and the new European rabbits can be diamond at level 2. I can't say I've seen a diamond level 2 scrub hare, and really for European hare, I'm not certain. But that is max estimate. So we'll just go ahead and take that. And I don't think we should be spooking any red deer. They're usually just like a little bit further out here if they even are here. And I don't actually know that I've had many here. It's usually just the roe deer feeding. So that might be it for this spot, but it could be something good. So really not even that close, 0.8 below diamond. And uh, I mean, I can't remember ever seeing a level two diamond European hare, but that'll be good for respawns anyway. And apparently there's just no red deer here, so we'll go down to the other lake. It's almost 6 o'clock, so we'll kind of do this quickly and then get to some of the shared locations for Mouflon and Red Deer. So there was actually one other red deer, another level 5, but it got chased away by wolves. And apparently, this is as good as we're going to get down here at this lake, so we'll just get this guy. Or, there's got to be another one down in there. I can't see him, but maybe we can just call that out of there? Well, that was a good decision, because clearly that one's a good bit bigger. I don't know where he was hiding in there. But we'll just drop him right there at the 6.5 and get away with a much better kill. But that's a pretty cool sight to walk up on, just seeing how big the level 7 red deer are. But uh, straight on 200, just got the like top right bit of the heart there. Kind of glad we did because the 6.5 is not great. Like single lung and a red deer, they run pretty far. But it's 610. I think. Let's actually go here. This is a spot that I tend to overlook. I want to say it's up on this side. There's a red deer drink zone, and then there should be mouflon down on the other side. And go to the red deer spot first. We'll kind of let any late mouflon zones get populated. And there is another pretty good one out there. Another 7. And I think that's the other kind of like big rack for them. So. I actually want to back up to 300, just because I don't think we're going to get a ton of opportunities for, like, long shots at the 6.5. And we'll just kind of drop that in there if we can. I'd like to just go for Heart. I feel like that's probably a risky decision, but we'll let him go down to drink just so we're not going to deal with, like, mid-animation stuff. And we'll try to Heart Shot him there at 300. I feel like it's risky. I think we got that. When he didn't drop immediately, I was sure that we didn't get it, but I can't imagine anything at that range we could have hit that would have dropped him so quickly. That's interesting he ran it all, though. But once again, pretty cool view. Running up on a downed red deer like that, I might actually screenshot that. I've never tried to take a screenshot of one facing away, but just because the fact that we have a little bit of a, like, a horizon thing going on here, I think that could actually look pretty cool, so we'll get down behind him. Man, I wish there was like a sunset or a sunrise. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. Anyway, let's see. It was a hard shot and lung as well. That's kind of crazy he didn't immediately drop, especially with the addition of the lung hit there. We didn't have much room for air, but 195 and another pretty good sized gold red deer. But now it's pretty much 630 and the mouflon tend to drink over in that area and I... I never approach from this side, so we'll see like how it works for us. I'm not really sure if you can see well enough to spot them. 
I actually think approaching from this side might be better. The only issue is, at least in this particular case, they're all females, so I'm not sure there's really much to get from here, but good to know for the future anyway. Maybe we can try this for Greater Ibex at some point, but we'll just kind of move on. I want to go up to this lake because it's usually got herds of both, and a lot of times they're in the same area and you can just see like 40, 50 animals in one place. And I'm hoping at least that there's going to be a second herd of red deer, like kind of just down over this hill, because that's usually where the mouflon are as well. I thought I might have just seen... Yeah, there's a couple of mouflon right there, so hopefully that's where the red deer are too. But we'll just try to get this level 6. I'm really not a huge fan of broadside with a 6.5, but we'll try it. Kind of shooting over top of that hind as well, but that's going to be a lung, at least. And we just missed the heart. Had we been a little further forward, we could have gotten it. I was a little bit worried, like, because we had to shoot far forward since the hind was in front of him. But we definitely could have been a little more risky and still had room to hit lungs, but... Here we are again with just a bunch of female mouflons. I don't know where all the males are, but if we find them, there's probably going to be just a ton. There is another herd of red deer at least. And spooking the stag, but it's not all that impressive anyway. So I think we're going to go ahead and fast travel to the northeast. It's 7 o'clock now, so any red deer and mouflon should have been moved into their zones by now. And actually, I think wolves will have stopped feeding unless they have a late zone, so that could actually allow us to see more stuff. Because this is a really common area for wolves to kind of move through, and often they'll just sort of spook your animals before you even see them. So if they're into their rest zones by now, that might not actually be happening. But this seems awfully familiar. There's a bunch of female mouflon. And then over here a little bit, there's a good-sized level 7 red deer. It just seems like that's all we can find so far today, but... We'll go ahead and try to take the red deer. I don't think that's a stag there. That might be a mythical, actually. I don't know if we can get away with taking both. But yeah, that guy's actually bigger. And he's not in a good spot. Let's just go ahead and call then. Try to get him to... At least get away from the hinds to where we can get a shot at him. Of course, they're not even going to respond to that. We could go for Nick. I don't know if I like that. Oh, that's actually just a bigger 7. I do think he's going to score higher, but if we're kind of lucky with the way this goes, we could get both. Let's try to just get him there. And then... I don't think we shot the right one. We got the 6, or hit him anyway, but that's the one I wanted to get. And actually that might have worked out better, because we definitely got him in the lungs. The 6, maybe we did? I think so. So maybe we ended up getting all three. And there's a really tiny stag right there. I don't think we'll worry about that for hunting pressure reasons, and we're going to have to do a bit of tracking, but that went well. I guess that actually makes sense, because I'm pretty sure we double lung both of the level 7s. Too far forward to get the heart on that one. It's a 211, and this one is a 193, which we got double lung and vertebrae, which would have helped a bit, but they pretty much died side by side. And I do think the level 6, wherever he got to, I'm pretty sure we got him in the lungs as well. But I want to say it was just single lung, so he probably ran a good bit further. Well, not that much further. He's just down maybe 100 meters beyond where the others were. But we're kind of spooking other stuff ahead of us. It might be the same herd of red deer. But we should at least be starting to get into Mouflon territory. I guess we saw a group of them already, but all females just usually up on this end. I start to see more mouflon. I'm actually starting to wonder, did they like change something with the way mouflon work and I wasn't aware of it? Because usually the herds are like male and female. But once again, string zone with maybe like seven or eight of them, all females. And just to continue the trend, another pretty big level seven. So that'll be, I think the fifth level seven red deer that we've seen. They've all been just pretty much in the same size, just everything is kind of repeating itself in this particular hunt, but I think what we're going to do, because we've seen so many good-sized red deer, is we're going to go ahead and take this guy, and then we're going to go to a Mouflon-specific spot, which would be, I think it's this lake right here, and of course we started to alert that guy by looking on the map, but 
you actually made a broadside heart shot, so pretty happy about that. But yeah, this lake over here uh, on the west side of the map, Mouflon and Rodeer both like that area, and actually I think European hares, but I'm hoping if we go there, maybe where there's not as many other animals, there's going to be some male Mouflon, because I kind of wanted to maybe go after them more than anything, because they can fill some of the small plaques in the lodge, and I think I've got a few of those that I want to definitely fill and maybe remove some of the axes here because they were so commonly making diamond, but we can't even find a male. But as we go along here, we're pretty much going through every level 7 rack there is because this is yet another one. Like I said, we've shot five different level 7s. I think this is the fourth different rack. I think two are the same, but it's actually kind of cool to see all the difference. And we're at the point where we can see across here. I guess we'll check, but... I don't see any huge red deer, so let's go and check that lake then and see if there's some mouflon over there. I actually have no idea what's going on here. Like, I don't see a single mouflon at this lake, and actually there's a bunch of just these, just deer females. But there was a rabbit here, which would be more interesting anyway as far as like potentially being a respawn for a future diamond. So if I could get eyes on it. I guess what we'll do, if this one's gonna hop right here, is go ahead and take the male. I heard a female run off. At least I heard one run off that I assume is the female. Yeah, it's just another male. And wherever the female is, I guess it got away, but we'll take those two. And they're both just gonna be, I think, bronzes. I don't know that we even got the silver. Two bronze rabbits. That's what we got out of this lake, but we'll try a couple more spots. We're going to go over to this one here. I want to say it tends to be good for Mouflon, but I'm not even sure if I should even be talking about that anymore. Okay, finally, there's some horns on some of these Mouflons, so we found some. There's a little gray over there, and I don't know, maybe we can see more if we go around this side. Or what we'll do is just go up onto the mountain here. And be able to look down because I think that'll allow us to see everything and at least from what I can tell that's about as good as it gets in that herd so we'll try to take him I think level fours are guaranteed this gold but I'm actually not a hundred percent certain with the mouflon because the fours get pretty big there might be enough room in there where you could get a four that's just a silver then but we'll try to pay attention that looked extremely dark I mean, it's a, another female, so I wouldn't be that worried, but it almost did look melanistic. I think it would have just been that gray there, because I knew there was a gray male. Didn't know there was a gray female in there, but there's actually a couple of Ibex coming out of there as well. I didn't really know they'd be down off the mountain, unless, I guess it's 8.30, so they're probably out there drinking, but anyway. That is a gold, so at least we got something decent for Mouflon, but even still, well, if there's one thing that I was fairly confident about, it was that we'd get some, like, good-sized level 4s anyway. But I guess we'll try up here. I got most of this pressure cleared. I actually did that before I came out on this hunt, and I cleared most of the pressure off the map with all the Bethidi Cybex at this lake. And I shot a couple of Mouflons, so maybe there'll be some respawns. I mean, that's more like what I thought we'd see. 151 to 174 there. A couple Ibex walking down into there too, but we'll at least take him, because he's got like the full curl at least. And he's not even huge. They definitely get bigger, even as fours. But yeah, we've got a tripod right here. So we'll go ahead and take that four, and we'll see what else kind of gets out of there. I mean, he's not bad. But we definitely could see a way bigger curl on those. And we'll kind of just watch and see. Make sure there wasn't like a bigger mouflon hidden in there. I'm not seeing really much of anything though. I think it was just a little tiny herd of them. Ooh. 198 to 230? That might be the biggest Bethides I've seen. I mean, it's hard to say with the estimates because on the Twitch stream yesterday, we shot a level 5 moose that was, I think, like 270 something to 329 and he scored in the 270s, but. If this guy scores much over 200, he would be my biggest. I don't even know what he's doing. He's just standing there calm at like 330 meters, but I think, like when he when he has his head turned that way, there's not much risk of hitting him in the skull. 
And he's just going to stay like that. Like, next time he looks over there, we'll try to get the shot in there. I really don't know why he's just standing there. And I can't tell. There's, like, two different horn shapes for the big Ibex. And I'm not sure if that's the one that scores higher. I really hope that wasn't brain or something. I can't see how it would have been, but... I feel like we aimed too high to get hard, so I don't know what that was. But, I came over here, mainly, to look for the Mouflon in this herd. There's a kind of good one there. I guess we'll try to get him. And I think that is going to be it. And that's a terrible angle to go for a shot, but we'll see what we can manage. I mean, maybe if we go, like... Down through his back? Didn't get anything too good there so we'll try again when he slows down but it's a tough shot to make and I know we we're well I was gonna say I know we we're too far back but we got something decent so let's mark that wherever he goes down at so at least we can go and find him and I want to see what that Ibex scores so this will be the first move we shot and I tried to actually go the other way like I just ended up falling in the water and that pretty much spawned me all the way back on this side so just figured we'd go around in this direction but I mean, that's... It's actually bigger than I thought. It's just got, like, like a really weird shape to its horns. They're kind of, like, tightly curled, and they kind of curl back further than normal. It's not a bad one at 161, though. And at least, like, from what I remember with these guys, the ones with, like, the level 4 horns actually tend to have, like, a higher trophy rating, so he's probably going to have to be a low-weight one to score super high. He's right on 200, and he is a low-weight 105, so... Like, on the old scoring system, that wouldn't have actually made diamond. But that's one of my best ones. I'm not sure. I think I have, like, a 201 or a 202. But we'll mount that. I'm not really sure that I even have anywhere to put it. And I just saw. We hit him through the neck. Not at all what I tried to do, but... I guess would rather be lucky than good sometimes. That could have been a lot worse. And then did we get, like, a liver or something on this? We did. I knew it was far back, but I thought it looked like the impact was way closer to his back leg. Just, I'm not even sure. It got like the angle like that. It got the far side of the liver. We're honestly lucky, but that guy's just a little bit bigger than the first we shot. And we did get shoulder blade the first time, so a little further back we'd have been good. But let's go back to the trophy lodge. I'm really not sure we're going to find anywhere to put that Petiti Cybex, but we'll look. I think, at least for now, I'm just going to go with this. So I had a small diamond wildebeest over here, and I actually had a different diamond turkey mounted, but this 4.7 is actually a good one. And then I moved a diamond turkey from this spot and put the diamond bathetes there, because 200.88, I've got a bunch of diamond bathetes mounted that I eventually like took down from the lodge, and this one's bigger than at least all the ones that I currently don't have displayed anywhere. So it's definitely a good one, and I wanted to leave it up there, and I think that's actually like a pretty good spot for it. It doesn't look too bad there, so I think at some point... I want to get like another deer species or something for this spot, but at least for now, we got the diamond batides in here and go figure. One of the things that we weren't really going after, I think that would be the only Ibex we killed the entire video, if I'm not mistaken, but it's a good one and it's definitely cool to add some different stuff to the trophy lodge because lately, because we have so much stuff in here, we don't get to do it as often, but it's definitely good to do it, you know, when we can. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.